In today's news, we have Pokemon reprints from the Sword and Shield era officially confirmed in July. So what does this mean going forward? Let's get to all that in today's video. So in my recent videos of like my tips and tricks that I give you guys to buy Pokemon cards and to get deals on Pokemon cards, one of my top tips was to have patience in this market. If there's anything I've learned with being in the hobby for the past two years and being very attentive to the market, I've learned that patience just conquers everything. With today's announcement of Lost Origin being reprinted in July and it being a pretty big reprint according to multiple distributors, I've heard about this from the YouTube channel Pokemon USA. Him and his team have very reliable sources as well as others on Reddit and a quick Google search confirmed this as well. It's pretty nuts that Lost Origin booster boxes just a few weeks ago were like at the 140 to 160 range. And if you were an investor in Lost Origin and were sitting on some cases, that was definitely the time to unload when it got to around the 160 mark. But if you're a long-term holder like myself, I do own two Lost Origin booster boxes. I'm just gonna be sitting on them for a little bit longer. I didn't plan on selling anytime soon, maybe one in like five years when it goes up to like 500 bucks, but that's my personal take. Like I stated before in plenty of other videos on this channel, Lost Origin is the second best set in the Sword and Shield era, and it's not even close. There's so many awesome cards. I understand that there's only two cards that are over the $100 mark, but there's still a lot of these cards that are very playable in the Pokemon TCG. That is totally not my expertise, so I have kind of no comment on those type of cards and why they're still in rotation. I personally feel that Pokemon reprints are awesome. I really think that Pokemon has a team that listens to us uh, Poketubers and that also watch the markets and kind of put the two together. Seeing that the Lost Origin booster box was kind of getting crazy, it was probably gonna reach 180, 200 within the next like two months. But with this uh, reprint coming, it's definitely gonna affect that for sure. I know a lot of talks of people saying that the booster boxes were gonna go as low as 100 bucks to 90 95 as a collector it just gives me another chance to go garretina hunting and and to just rip some packs of one of my favorite sets of all time we got to remember that this set is actually not that old as well it came out in 2022 which has me speculating that we might even see a silver tempest uh reprint simply because these sets had such a small print run that in my mind it's gonna be a no-brainer that we're gonna see a silver tempest reprint so with this all being said, I firmly believe that the Pokemon community, Pokemon TCG is in a great place, that they are listening to us, that they are paying attention, and we're pretty much getting whatever product that we want. That there's also a plenty full of product to purchase. And like I said, as a collector, this is awesome. As an investor, I think it's awesome for you guys too. You guys just have to sit on the product just for another year or so. I believe that the days of these crazy quick flips are done, so that makes me happy. I think the Pokemon company's mindset in the present is that they're just going to print everything to the ground. They're gonna have so much of influx of product that we're never gonna have to complain. There's never gonna be a shortage like there was in the 2020 Logan Paul boom phase where people were trying to open literally anything and it was just crazy. To now there's overprints and we're getting deals like the Costco mini tins and um, the Sam's Club ETB combo boxes, which I guess, which again, it's super good for the community, super good for people that just want to come into the hobby, open up some ETBs with you know themselves or their kids, make some um, a more affordable presence for kids. And at the end of the day, it's made for that. It's made for kids to open up and to have fun. I personally believe that there's gonna be a lot of these products on sale as well. Twice Big Jake, I don't know if you guys follow him on YouTube, I'll put his uh, little link there. But uh, he was talking about how his distributors were telling him that they're gonna be seeing a lot of these Crown Zenith figure collections and ETBs potentially hitting 
uh, a Costco or a Sam's Club with the double boxes because they printed these uh, special collection sets like to the ground, which is awesome. Crown Zenith is my favorite set of all time to date. So I'm gonna wait and I encourage you guys all to wait around as well because we're about to see some crazy Crown Zenith sale deals. Quick tip for you investors in Pokemon, this is the time for you guys. Pick up, you know, two, three, four booster boxes at 90 bucks, wait two years, thing maybe goes 250, you know, that is, that is unbelievable returns. And I'm sure they're not only just gonna reprint booster boxes, probably gonna reprint some ETBs. So those are also great long-term holds to hold and then flip to reinvest in a Pokemon, like I always uh, explain to you guys. And I'm personally praying that, <laughs> that with these reprints of Lost Origin just means that these singles are gonna go crashing down. Not only am I gonna buy a booster box or two with this next reprint, but I'm praying that the Garatina alt art maybe comes down, you know, 25, 30%, then it'll be a little bit more in my range. Same thing with Aerodactyl, that gets to a good price range, your boy is pressing that buy button real quick. So I think it's, I think it actually is gonna happen. I think we, it is going to affect the singles market. So let's just wait and find out. So that's gonna be the video, everybody. Thanks for checking this out with me. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are hyped that Lost Origin is coming back. Let me know if it was completely unneeded. I know that's how a lot of people in the community feel. Like this is just like why. But I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts were in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace.